miracle that gives you the cleanest clothes in town brings you in person direct from hollywood that zany lovable town of clowns red skelton d-i-d-e tides against red skelton Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I brought these out in case some of you folks at home haven't seen the Emmys. And I would like to thank the ladies and gentlemen of the press and also the ladies and gentlemen of the Academy for voting our show twice. One is they liked our show and the other is they liked me as a comedian. <laughs> well, you've seen them now, so... Ed, do you want to take them? quite a thrill to, to uh, get something like that, you know. And over at the Academy, it's a funny thing, as I walked in, there were a lot of people outside, and, uh, and someone yelled, Ray Skelton's in the crowd, and they all turned around and looked at me. <laughs> Gee, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was sorry I yelled. <laughs> <laughs> the autograph collectors, they had a cute idea. For the stars, they would let them sign full sheets of paper, and for the bit players, a half a sheet of paper. <laughs> You ever try to autograph a spitball? <laughs> <laughs> little, uh, <laughs> little uh, Richard this week, he came in, they want pet mice. I said, what do you want with mice? I said, they don't brush their teeth, they don't take a bath or anything. He says, hey, don't tell one of them to move over, he got a new buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> they went over to uh, Gene Fowler's house the other day, and they raided his uh, cuckoo clock. This is the truth, they took a little cuckoo out of the clock, so I said, why did you do that? He said, well, I didn't mean no harm by it, you know. He said, I saw the cuckoo in there, and I thought maybe I could get some cuckoo eggs and raise my own clock. <laughs> there was an interesting bulletin I just saw in the paper today that uh, MacArthur, they've called all of his men but three. <laughs> they figure if he won't play ball, he can't play canasta either. <laughs> Say, uh, this week while I was watching television, I happened to notice one of the fights that was on, and I didn't pay so much attention to the fights as I did to the people who uh, were sitting around the ringside. So I'd like to do a little pantomime scene for you and show you how different people react to uh, price fights. Could I have that? Oh, thing's got legs, why didn't you let it walk out? <laughs> First you have a fellow that seems like he's bored with the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> then you have the tough guy that enjoys the fight. <laughs> <laughs> then you have the little guys that go to fight and they can't stand the sight of blood. Gangster, gambler, you know. Got the fight fixed. Third round. The guy's taking a dive. And he never really gets to see the fight because she keeps asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> Come 